For those of you who are not Sonar users who have never seen Sonar, this is Sonar X1 producer expansion. So, what I want to do is I want to lay down a baseline to start my song. Over here we have our browser. This is what's going to hold all of your content, be it loops, be it project files, track templates, sequences, anything, and they're all ready to drag and drop straight into your project. So what I'm going to do is I've drug in what's called a track template. A track template can hold all of your settings, be it VST effects, whatever synth you're using, EQ, levels, inputs, outputs, all that stuff can be saved in a tiny little package called a track template. So if you have your favorite sounds, or a vocal patch, or something for your guitar that you use all the time, instead of having to go back and recreate that every time you want to use it, save it as a track template, drag it straight into a project, and you're ready to go. What I'm going to do is use a bass sound here from Zeta 2. Zeta 2 is our latest waveform synth. Any of those that are familiar with the original Zeta will notice that the user interface has changed dramatically. It's been made more friendlier. We have our effects section, which features our drag and drop effects routing. So you can change your signal flow that easy. Just move stuff around where you want it, and it's ready to go. This has all the classic Zeta sounds, and we've added a thousand more sounds to this, and we're producing expansion kits for it all the time that you can purchase and use with Zeta 2. So, I've got a baseline that I want to drag in. So now we have this. Cool little bass sound. Now I want to add to that, and I'm going to drag in another track template that's got a sequence from our synth rapturing. So we have our rapture synth up, and another thing I want to show you over here in our inspector is our Pro Channel. Now in Expanded, what we've done with the Pro Channel is added drag for your signal flow. You can move those wherever you want. You can also add other modules to it, or you can replace modules. So, we've got our track template with Rapture, and again, I'm gonna drag in a little mini groove here for that, straight to my project. We'll solo that up, and I've got the solo sequence. Now what I've done in the Pro Channel for this is I've added the PC76 U-Type compressor, and I'm using the all buttons mode, so I have an infinite ratio on here. What that's gonna do is allow me to pump the volume of this pad without clipping, so I can get the most out of it, squeeze that perceived volume up, okay? So now, I'd like to add some drums to the whole thing. I'm gonna drag in another track template. And this track template features Session Drummer 3. What I'm using is one of our expansion kits that Sonic Reality did. That's the Neil Peart kit. Those of you who may be uh, living under a rock and unfamiliar with who the guy is, he's the drummer for a band called Rush. One of the most regarded drummers for technicality and for sound. What they've done is taken his custom DW kit from the Snake and the Snakes and Heroes tour. Their producer has recorded the kit using E preamps, vintage ribbon, and tube mics. And another cool thing about this kit is you have a 23 inch kick drum. So you have an odd size producing a very custom tone that you can't get with another kick drum. So if you've got this E W kit, you also have safety and symbols in your kit. So it's essentially like having a drummer who's impossible to get the family in your house jamming at 3 in the morning or whenever you want for free. You don't have to send them out to Canada. So what I'm going to do now is I want to open up my step sequencer. And this is down in what we call the multi-dock. The multi-dock will hold all kinds of different things. I've got a console, I've got a matrix view, and then I've got my step sequencer. So I'm going to drag, again, a pattern straight into my step sequencer. Now this pattern might seem a little odd to you. The way I like to make music is I like to start with a very basic pattern in session drummer, and then I pile loops on top of that to create syncopations and rhythms that you just can't program. And it's a really creative way to work too because sometimes they'll send you down paths you don't know you where to go, which inspires me even further. So, we've got that pattern which sounds like this. 
Warning. 
go in and use my browser again, and I'm going to drag in a guitar channel so I can lay live guitars on top of this. Now in this channel, I've got one of our new effects chains 2.0. An effects chain is a way to get various VST plugins into one package to be used together. The cool thing that we've done with the effects chains 2.0 is we've added the customizable user interface to these. So in here I've got Guitar Rig 4, and I've got our VX64 vocal processor. So as you can see, I've only got four knobs and one button on here. There's probably about 100 parameters between the two of these. So I've picked my favorite parameters that I'd like to tweak and put them right here on the interface, so it makes things a whole lot easier get to what you need right there. So I've got Screamer. That's going to turn the Tube Screamer and Guitar Rig 4 on and off. Then I've also got my doubler level, and that's going to control the presence of the doubler in the VX64. You can name these whatever you want, right click, add knobs, add buttons, and then you assign what parameter you want to mess with in which plugin. Give it its own custom name, name the whole thing. You can even change the color or interface that's on it to something that you want. So, close these guys out. Go to my console view here in the multi dock. And I'm going to arm this track to record. And we're going to lay down some guitar on top of what we've already done. For more, visit cakewalk.com, click Music Software, and Production Suite. To purchase Sonar X1 Production Suite, click Buy Now, or click Find a Dealer and type in your zip code. Or click Worldwide to find a dealer near you.